Wesley, last name is Smith. Gilgate gave a false name and date of birth of a David Newman, causing Officer Doherty to believe that another had committed the offense. How did you wish to play? No contest. Class B, misdemeanor of criminal mischief, same offense state. This was at um, Manchester Police Department on Chestnut Street. When he wrote on the Manchester Police Department building with chalk, causing damages <laughs> under $100. How did you wish to play? Not guilty. And the last district judge here, I guess there's some warrants out of Keene District Court. We would ask for the bail of one thousand dollars, Captain Curry, and ask to refer that matter to Keene, being as a um, class A misdemeanor contempt of court. Reference to the manager the charges are We also ask for one thousand dollars, Captain Curry, bail. So without saying your honor, there was considerable police resources tied up in the in, in, in the response to this incident. We would ask that bail of one thousand dollars, Captain Curry, be enacted. Also, your honor, we have concern reference to the Keene matter. Get that was a. Um, Non appearance in court, we would ask for a thousand dollars cash assurity in reference to the Manchester matters. As far as the Keene date, there was a, I, I was never notified of that court date. Yeah, how about the Manchester case? Is anything you want to say as far as that part is concerned? Yeah, no property was damaged. Um, none of the Keene or uh, the Manchester police's property was damaged. Um, I think that's about all. I understand one of these is a misdemeanor that carries with a possible jail sentence. That was you know, a lawyer paid for by the state. You can't afford your own lawyer. You, want, you don't want to apply? No. As far as the Manchester cases are concerned, uh, bail on those will be $1,000 personal recognizance on the key matter that's referred to key. Scheduled for June 14th, uh, bail set here in the amount that was requested by key. Right down their names, man. And nice. Who was gonna? Nice. Who's responsible for my kidnapping? Freer. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, Damon. Hey, we. Uh, yeah, I got that before. I went in. We are audio and video recording right now, but uh, on Saturday, um, some property was taken from me, and I was told that um, I could come back on Monday. All right, thank you. She said, let me look into it. I didn't hurt anybody that day, and you guys, your colleagues stole my property, and I want my property back. Well, can I talk to the computer person? Maybe they can just copy it. And what's his name? Sergeant Duso. Sergeant Duso. This is this has ramifications. Eight peaceful people arrested, and our property was stolen. And you're working with these people. Think about it. Think about what you're doing. You're harming people, and this is our livelihood. And what's your name, is? Come on, you go right Melanie, what's your last name? Misha. Okay, thank you. Melanie Misha. Right, right. He's got his own case, and I have my own as well. So he got stuff stolen from him, and I have stuff stolen from me. Um, not only that, but when I tried to come in here to file a complaint yesterday, the other day, I, I was threatened with force. So I, I'd also like to make that uh, complaint as well. You don't have a complaint form? Well, he just told me he could get me a complaint form, so if you could do that, sir, that'd be great. I need to file a complaint. Um, also, um, your department. Uh, is that just for to you? the threat that, that I was going to have force uh, applied to me if I came in here to file a complaint because you guys said it wasn't legitimate. All I need is a form. So that was uh, Supervisor Olson there. That's fine. You're being recorded too. On that day, I was not given a receipt. I asked when I could get it back. They told me Monday the technician comes in and they can have the footage and then I could be on my way. Okay. Yeah, phones and the, yep. Thank you. Appreciate it.
What do I need it for? What's your name? Are you kidding me? What do I need it for? I have my own reasons, and it's not your business, but I'm, my name is in that, and it could have... We have another camera just like this that was stolen. Um, we have, uh, there's an Olympus point and click as well as his phone. Mm -hmm. We didn't receive any receipts. Well, the, cameras, is, the cameras themselves aren't evidence. It's right? information on it. Right. So you can copy it over and especially I hope you guys leave it on there because no right of you to delete it. And there's also procedures that we have to go through. What kind of procedures? We have to get a search warrant. Potentially get a search warrant to get that information. You you didn't uh, you know come with a search warrant to take my stuff. You needed to get the information out. No, to actually you. Uh, your, Maybe not if you sign a release form. That might be a way around them going yeah. after and, and all that mom stuff. Maybe. Seriously. Sorry. But in order to uh, do that, detectives are the ones that do that. Lieutenant Willard. I was told I could come by Monday and get my property back, and it's Monday. Well, I can't Is there a detective? That. I mean, could you radio him and say, hey, come back to the station. We need to get this done. There's somebody who wants their property. Well, he's in charge. He's not here today. Cameras were confiscated, right? They were stolen. They weren't stolen. They were, they were stolen. No, they were stolen because I didn't voluntarily give them to you. Or well, your okay. colleagues. Okay, well, they, the cameras were taken. They were stolen. And now they're at the station. Two weeks they now need to be downloaded. No. The information has to be gathered by detectives. Now, the people that are in charge of making that decision are not here today. I didn't hurt anybody that day. But, I um, didn't right damage here, any property that um, day. That was, I think, I'm a peaceful person and my camera was stolen from me. My phone was stolen from me. I have no way to communicate with people. Can I charge you guys a, like a rental fee or something? You guys stole my property, honestly. No. Have you seen the videos of what happened? No. Can I give you a card? Would you go to a website and watch the video? We have other people who had cameras that weren't confiscated. If you go to this site on YouTube, there's a, a video that shows what happened right there. All right. All right, so why don't you come back tomorrow. We'll discuss with detectives. What time does Detective Willard start? Station. At like 8? Between 8 and 4. Okay, so I'll be here at 8 then. Okay. Is there a roll call in the morning? I mean, is that going to take half an hour? Should I show up at 8.30? No, I'm telling you, 8 o'clock should be. Do okay. Sure, show up at 8.30. Okay. Give him some time to get in here, yeah. figure out what's going on. Okay. Can we get your name and badge number? Sergeant Beglin. What's your first name? Mike. Mm, badge number? Z10. We're not trying to be hostile. I mean, we're obviously I'm frustrated because it's yeah. our property, but, you know, and you weren't there. I know, you weren't there. But, again, I would appreciate if you would communicate that at least we're coming in tomorrow and I'd like to leave my property because... You're, you're willing to sign a release form? What does a release form entail? That they can take the property without going to a judge and saying, we have enough ev evidence, we would like a search warrant to take their picture, blah, 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 blah. So I'm basically waiving Just my rights by signing the form. Right. But Is you can get it back sooner, happen? otherwise I'm telling you, you're going to have to do a search but warrant. But what if, what if, the, what if the, uh, the premise of, seizing, of stealing and seizing the camera was flawed in the first place? That violated my rights, so why, sh why well, should I get away? Well, then the judge won't grant a search warrant. All right, so you guys going to be back tomorrow? 8.30ish? Definitely. All right. We'll see if we can figure it out then. All right. All right. I appreciate it. I mean, yeah. I hope I hope we can resolve this. This is this has been a pretty ridiculous situation. We came out here to for a pro police accountability rally, and and a bunch of us got arrested for nothing. And it's just it paints you guys in even worse light. I mean, maybe not you yourself, but the the Manchester PD you're working with. So and it's clear we're not the only people that have been victimized by you guys. There's a lot of folks that I've heard out here today that have had complaints. So I'm just, again, I know this is just a conversation, but maybe tonight think about it or tomorrow think about it or whatever. Please watch the video. All right, we'll watch the video. Okay. All right. I just, I moved so long. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Tomorrow morning, I guess. Okay.